good afternoon, dear friends, dear art connoisseurs. We are glad to announce that we finally open after quarantine. We are open, but apparently not all the businesses are open. Our framers, for example, are still on quarantine. But no worries. Today I will show you behind the scene activity. I'll show you the way we can frame our paintings ourselves. You see, this is uh, the joint frame that has been delivered from our framer. And usually they put all the paintings together in the frame so we don't have to do anything. But in this case, just the frame came like that, wrapped in the brown paper. And I will show you how easy to put it together. You will learn with me. First of all, of course, we need to open the frame. It's a brown paper. So thus, we open the frame. Look how beautiful it is. Um, now, we need to use certain tools. And I'll show you what kind of tools we're using. We are using, of course, the thingy-majingy. seen it before. Then we're using um, <clears throat> pliers. We're using wire to wind a bit and we use the stapler. That's it. And we need some just little things, um, screws and nails. So I'll show you where we go. Um, first of all, we need to see if our frame exactly fits our painting. Let's see. Perfect. Whoever did the measuring of this painting for the frame did a wonderful job. I think Joanne did. Look how perfectly it fits so now we just need to fix the painting into the frame. Oh, I think I scratched the, um, the, the, the desk a little bit. No, never mind, we'll put a little blanket. It's always recommended to put a little blanket so you will not scratch your face. First of all, we need to decide which tools are we using. Here the frame fits so perfectly flat into the frame, the painting fits so perfectly that we just can use a simple staple gun. Um, just make sure that it's uh, located very tight and so the staple of the staple gun just uh, grabs both the painting, the stretcher and the molding itself. So um, it's done like that. I need my glasses, I think. Uh, these are uh, prescription glasses, um, even dark, but I, I see better. Not, not really good, but um, I'll try. <coughs> It's, it's really easy, it just takes a little bit of, of practice. It's a very strong gun. <laughs> it 
it's really easy that, that it seems. Uh, just, you know, a little, don't have a first aid kit, so using whatever we have, just, you know, it, it, it's all right. All right, so we continue to put staples all around the frame. You have to be especially careful at the corners, because corners usually pop out. Just really, really, really tight and careful so you will not injure yourself. Um, so uh, that's how it's done. Then I'll just show you how beautiful the painting looks now in frame. Absolutely different scene. Amazing, amazing. Then we need to think how we will paint the painting. We need to have a wire attached to it. For the wire, we will use pliers, silver wire, and a drill. That's the name of this tool. Then we will need, of course, get the little thing and the screw and place it on the frame and hold it and use the screwdriver. I hope it's charged. We'll see. We'll see now. All right. So we'll do it like that. Uh, there are two ways actually. Apparently it uh, goes in and goes out. I really don't know which way it is. We'll try. All right. So the moment of truth. <laughs> no, I, I guess it's not. It's not the way. Um, um, try the other way. Hold it really, really tight. The, uh, the end result of it. I finished my framing and uh, it looks beautiful. I'll show you how the uh, wiring looks when it's, when it's ready. You can see how tightly and nicely the uh, wire is attached to the, to the framing. So it just takes now one hook to hang it on the wall and your beautiful painting will bring you joy for the rest of your lives. So, my dear friends, I hope you learned a lot how to do framing, but I would strongly recommend that you still leave it to professionals. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>